Hello, bonjour, and good day, and welcome to another House of Freeman production. In today's video, you are going to see me transform into this wonderfully wicked witch. Let's rewind eight hours to when I first put my base on. <laughs> I have covered my brows and I have put my red contact lenses in. These ones went in easier than some of the others, so it means I'm slowly getting better at applying them. It depends on which image you look at for the Wicked Witch of the West, but some of them she has red eyes, some of them she has brown, some of them it's just black kind of scary eyes. I thought we would go with the red ones today because I think it's going to pop against the green skin that we're going to have speaking of let's go in with the spectra base by glisten cosmetics this is obviously in the shade green as you can see i also have a white one so that we can do some highlights on the face let's pop this on it comes out let's put you here so you can see when it eventually oh it comes out quite a thick consistency as you can see i'm going to apply it with a kabuki style brush initially and then if i need to blend it a little bit more i'm going to use a sponge but let's just apply it <gasps> the pigment in that doesn't that look stunning we are not going to be covering our ears in green today because the way I'm going to wear the wig, it will cover the ears anyway. And for the hands, I think I'm just going to wear some gloves that I've got and I've super glued some black nails onto them to give them that drag flare. This always smells so nice. For some reason, it smells like a, a cucumber smell to me. This is applying so nicely. You can see it's such an opaque pigment, but you can shear it out, as you can see on this side. You do have to take several pumps, but this is much, much better, in my opinion, than using water activated colors because those can go a little bit patchy. We are going to take this down the neck because the dress that I'm going to be wearing is not a high neck dress, is it? No, it cuts down to about here, so we are gonna have to cover the neck. And I mean, a t-shirt can be washed. That's quite funny that I've chosen a t-shirt that has green on it subconsciously. That's quite cute. For the neck, I don't think it needs to be as opaque as the face will because we're not going to be layering up foundations on top of it and it's not going to be the center of attention. <laughs> but that is crazy. Look at that. I'm going to have to do some extra pumps to cover these brows. I might be using a lot of this, but I'm just working on the safe side to make sure that everything goes on smoothly. Look at that. I look insane. Do you know what this would be really good for? A, like, green goblin look? I don't mean from Spider-Man. I mean, like, a dungeon goblin from Dungeons and Dragons, something like that. Oh, this is insane. I forgot how much I love doing kind of cosplay looks. I'm going to cover the eyelids, the nose, everything. Everything on the face will get a base of green. And then if we need to, we can boost it later with <gasps> oh, oh, oh my goodness 
we can boost it with powders. There's no worries there. No worries whatsoever. I love this. I love this. Is it bad that I love this? I do, I love this. Oh my goodness. I think that choice of brush was also a really good idea. Let's just make sure the nose has got some decent coverage because sometimes that is the part of the face that does seem to suffer. Especially on the bridge of my nose, it doesn't seem to like picking up product a lot, which is annoying. And considering when you look at the Wicked Witch of the West, the nose is one of the most prominent features because I think she really feeds off the stereotypical witch look. I am not going to be doing prosthetics or anything like that today because firstly I'm not very well versed in them and secondly I don't know I'm not doing that no 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 this is supposed to be a nice simple look for the viewers not something that will need a lot of background knowledge I really hope that's low enough <gasps> Do you know who else this could do? This could do the, the Jim Carrey, the mask. Like, is that what it's giving right now? It looks quite terrifying when I see myself in the mirror and in the viewfinder. So good luck to you watching this. It's going to be quite the viewing experience. Let's do a little bit of highlighting. We are going to change brush though. We're going to go to something smaller like this. I'm going to take the white spectra base. And we are going to gently, ever so gently, I'm like tapping it into the product and then I'm tapping the product onto my hand. We're going to go under the eyes with this and see if we can get a good mixture of the white and the green. Spectra bases really like each other, which is nice. It's good that you can layer them on top of each other without them causing too much fuss or taking each other up off the skin. This is going to be a very heightened, draggy look for the Wicked Witch. So don't be a little bit confused when we veer off from one or the other look. We are just gonna put our own spin on it. Like, doesn't that look so cool though? She has a nice big chin, so let's put that on there and then I'll just blend it out with my finger. Ooh, blending them out with your finger really, really does it nicely. You definitely don't need a lot of white compared to how much green I took on my brush for the rest of the face. I did not need that at all. Just gonna connect this bit here because I think that'll look better. Ooh. Oh, damn, look at that face already. That's, that's cut, cut. Oh my goodness. We can put these spectra bases away now. I'm just gonna set this wet foundation with the normal loose setting powder by MUA. Something cheap and cheerful on a big fluffy brush. Wish me luck. This is going to need a lot. I'm not taking any chances with this powder. I'm going full ham. Let's start by highlighting the face. I am just going to take my normal face palette. My Stargazer White, which is crumbling and falling apart all over me. So this is a very messy look for me. <laughs> I'm going to take my Lacura Puff. Ooh, just absolutely cake it in the product and then 
Under here. Make sure we're getting a nice decent. Oh, love that. A nice decent white. Highlight. Mmm. That is lovely. Get the big fluffy brush and just gently. Getting rid of any extra powder that's sitting on the surface. Let's take the eyeshadow palette that we're going to use to contour today. I'm going to use the Earthy palette by Beauty Bay. This is the £42 version because we love a lot of eyeshadows. What am I going to use to contour today? I think I'm just going to use my normal bronzing brush and I'm just going to go into this colour up the top here, Ivy, which is a very dark green. And I'm just going to coat the top of the brush. Oh my lord. Tap some of that off and then just gently in circular motions apply this to the face where I would normally contour and hopefully that will give us a nice bit of shadow in the same colour scheme. Oh that already looks nice doesn't it? We will start placing it up onto the forehead gently <gasps> oh yeah perfect now let's take a highlighting brush that we used earlier for the white and let's go into this color up here seahorse the one in the top corner because that's still a green shade but we can just place it on top of the highlight and give the highlight more of a green hue just so that we look very cohesive this is such a light shadow that it's not doing much but I think it's going to take out a bit of the white that we've got going on and make it more cohesive and seamless these fabulous shadows oh I will be creating another look with that I think because these worked really really well let's do a little bit of fixing spray because I'm feeling a bit dry and by a bit, I mean <laughs> a fair amount. Where has my fan gone, Gil? For the eyeshadow look today, we are going to go into a brand new release by REM Beauty. This is the Wicked collab that they've got going on. These shades, even though they are not many of them oh christ there's a, a mirror on the other side even though there's not a lot of them they do look really nice and i mean i was drawn to the packaging on this it does come with a sheet inside which gives you a couple of ideas of how to apply the shadows but today we are not going to use that we are just going to go into this center row here and maybe this shade here to give it a little pop on the eye so let's go in with a big shading brush like this big fluffy brush and we're going to just pop into let's go into Ospresso down here because that's quite a neutral shade and we will ooh, that's quite pigmented already. 
we will start etching out a nice heightened oh my goodness I suck it for the look you may be asking why if I've already got the earthy palette by Beauty Bay am I using this wicked one well there's a couple of reasons firstly I wanted an excuse to buy it as per usual and secondly the colors in here I think would work really well for this look I mean look at that already <gasps> oh my goodness this is my first REM product that I'm using so we'll see if I'm satisfied but initial thoughts are these shadows are really nice and they are blending like a dream the pigment is there so that I'm getting a nice base and the blending is so wonderful look at that I think that's all we need really let's go in with positively green which is obviously this darker green here on a smaller shading brush and I'm just going to place it a bit deeper into the socket and blend it on top of the brown that we've got going on here we don't have any darker shades in here I think this green is the darkest one which is a bit sad for me because I love to use multiple shades to deepen up the eye looks that I do so we may yet be going back into the earthy palette for a deeper shadow but this green and this brown are blending so nicely together Ooh. so how are we feeling about the new wicked movie personally i'm very excited very 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 excited i've wanted a movie of Wicked for such a long time. I remember seeing the stage show and being blown away. The costumes, the set design, the music, all incredible. And I wanted to be able to watch it multiple times, so I wanted there to be a film. Lo and behold, there was not one that I could watch that would be so closely related to that obviously the original wizard of oz i have seen so many times i used to watch it all the time at my nan's and i've never stopped watching it it is such a big influence on me it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful and the wicked witch in that when i was a child terrifying absolutely terrifying i would be very scared of her especially when she's on the shed roof and then she fires down the big fireball onto the tin man and the scarecrow and dorothy <gasps> nope terrifying absolutely terrifying where did my earthy palette go let's go back into here and let's grab Ooh. We're going to have to go in with Ivy, which is the shade that we used for the contour, which is this one up here. I'm going to use another blending brush, but a small one again. And I'm going to tuck it right into this inside corner here. But yes, overall, very excited for the film. I we'll be probably seeing it multiple times because 
Who's going to stop me? I have Limitless. It's not going to cost me anything. So I might as well. Let's go back into the REM Beauty Palette. And we are going to take the shade. She's, oh God, phosphorescent. This one here. That took me a while to be able to say. That is very creamy. <gasps> and I think it's a purple, blue, green shift on that. Do you think it'll... Oh my goodness, I don't know if that's going to pick it up. This is so highly pigmented. That was one swipe. Pushing it right down to the lash line. What's that look like? Ooh, let's zoom you in. Just a tad. What's that look like? Can you see the shift? I'm gonna zoom you back out again. I'll have to review that in post because I can't see if it did anything, but in the mirror, it looks so sparkly, so lovely. Let's see what the shiz looks like, which is this almost white shade here. That's what it looks like on the finger. And let's see if we can just place that on the inner corner. Yep, yep, that's beautiful. Let's grab a flat brush. Let's grab some of that. And let's pop it in and then drag it up so that it will blend into that green shade. But we still get the inner corner highlight. Oh gosh, big fan of that. The shimmers that are coming out of this palette. If this is the normal REM shimmer formula, they are really, really good. I don't think we need to do anything else for the eye. We just need to put a little bit of positively green on the lower lash line. Just to give it a little bit of framing. I don't want to go as deep as we have on the top of the eye, but I do still want to exaggerate this lower part. A little bit of espresso, just to go over it with a really gentle hand because we don't want this bottom bit to turn out brown do we we want it to look green and stunning <gasps> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> that looks so good let me replicate this eye on this eye and i will be right back Okay, now that both of the eyes are done, let's zoom in again, shall we? Ooh, look at the blend on that. Oh God, that's so beautiful. I keep looking in the viewfinder because, again, I'm so, so pretty. Now in this REM palette, we don't have anything that's gonna be dark enough to do the eyebrows considering I'm going to be wearing black hair that is a bit of a problem and even when I look in the earthy palette by Beauty Bay I don't have anything that's just black black so let's go grab another palette this look demands three palettes already 
I've grabbed a staple palette from my collection. This is the Sofa X Revolution Extra Spice palette. And I'm going to take this shade here, Reputation, which is a matte black. I'm going to do it on my normal brow brush that I use, my Bedellium one. And I'm going to draw in some very high arched brows. When looking at a reference picture for the Wizard of Oz, she has very like blocky angular brows. I don't know if that will be flattering on my face. So I'm initially going to draw them as quite swooping, like smooth, rounded brows. And then if I'm feeling a little bit extra, I'll maybe etch them out to be more angular, more square, more triangle. We'll see what happens. Let's just pop on some browns. There we go. A very, very high brow. How does that look? Ooh, nice. Let's take the pencil brush, go into the same shade and fill it in. Let's see if I can replicate this on the other side. Okay, let's just strengthen the tail of the brow, just because that's always the part that needs an extra bit of pigment, because I love it to be quite sharp. This one's quite like low down, whereas that one's kind of like, ch -ch -ch, and that one's like, ooh. So we're definitely going to fix that with some highlighter. Let's grab the white spectra base again, the tiniest little pump, and I mean the tiniest little pump on a flat concealer brush, taking a bit and then again rubbing it onto the hand, and just gently going under the brow. I'm giving it a little bit of a reshaping. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's more of an issue with the eyeshadow not being even rather than the brow. Take that down a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. And then we will take the lighter shade in the Earthy palette, the Seahorse shade, on a flat packing brush. Here it is. And just go over those highlights. So they're secured in with powder. And now that that's complete, let's go back into the Wicked palette and take a bit of... Let's go save me this dance and take a little fluffy brush. It's kind of a blue. Blue sparkle. Yep. And we'll just tap that up here a little bit so we've got a little bit of a brow highlight how's that looking yep love her now that the brows are done let's move on to lips i have two products today I've got the VE Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spaceman, which is this green, but I think it's a bit too similar to the green that I've already got on my face. So I also have a, what is this? A liquid matte lipstick in the shade Earth, which I believe, oh yeah, which is a lot darker, but it's still green. So I think I'm gonna go into this today. Let's apply it and see what it looks like.
the pigment already is is already there. Yep. Good choice. Okay, yeah, I've got that base layer of earth down. That is quite a hard shade to work with because I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up. Let's go in with the liquid lipstick in Spaceman and just touch it in the middle. See if we can get a little ombre going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those lips look really cool. Let's do our last little bit before we do eyeliner, lashes, and put on the costume. I have another highlighter by Odin's Eye. This one is in Moon Talk. It is a green reflex. It's gonna look so, so good. So I'm just taking my normal highlighter brush. I have cleaned it since last time, obviously. Swirl it in the product. Tap off a little excess and then just on the cheekbone here. And up a bit so that we've got more of a pronounced. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's pop it here a little bit, shall we? Oh yeah, that's so good. Up a bit, down a bit, around a bit. Oh my gosh. On the end of the nose. Oh yeah. Up the bridge a little bit. This is just the right shade for this look. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just a tad. Should we put a little bit on the lip? Just, just a little bit on the finger. In the center. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't stop putting this on. Somebody needs to stop me. Oh, and the green and the blue and the red. Oh, this stunning. All of the Odin's Eyes um, highlights that I've used have been so good. Let's set it with a little bit of mist from Elf first. I'm gonna add some eyeliner, some lashes, and the hair and outfit, and I will be right back. Hey girl. Ooh, doesn't it look so cool? <sighs> Do not mind the parts of my skin that are not painted green. Got my little broom. My witch's broom. Mm. My hat. My hair is on. She's laid back. I think I look so good. Did I want to paint my hands and apply nails? No. I applied them to gloves. <laughs> but I think it works. You can't even get the full oh the full sense of my hat. Because it's very, very tall. Shall I go into the background? You don't normally get to see this, do you? Here I am. Look over there. Shh. Shh. 
<laughs> oh, this look. Come on, you can find me. And if you can't, look to the western sky. <laughs> I could not resist that. I think this look came out so wonderfully. Let's take the hat off for the time being. Oh, gosh. Look at this face. Let's zoom you in. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, and some nails on some gloves. Very draggy. Very Wizard of Oz. And it is giving body. Yeah, it's just stunning. It's really, really good. I'm very, very proud of this look. Let's go through what we used in the video today. For the base of this look, we used two of the Glisten Cosmetics Spectra Base Foundations, the green and the white. And I mean, look at the material. Do they not look so gorgeous? They gave it such a nice base. And then on top of that, to contour, we used the Earthy Palette by Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay never fails with palettes. These are so, so good, and this one is no exception. And then for the eyes, we used a combination of that Beauty Bay palette, the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette, which you've seen before, and the new... Was that a bat? A bat just fell down. Oh my gosh. Anyway, the new Aryan Beauty and Wicked collab. This eyeshadow palette is so, so nice. Look at the shades again. The shimmers in this palette, gorgeous. The mattes as well, really pigmented and blend perfectly. And I mean, if you're a sucker for packaging, this is just so gorgeous this was one of the main reasons i bought this palette and then what else did we use oh yes we had some ve cosmetics first of all we had the liquid lipstick in spaceman which is this one lovely girl mm -mm 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 -mm. and a liquid matte lipstick in the shade earth which is this one the combination of the two on the lips Mm, it's so so lovely and last but by no means least another Odin's Eye product I'm really really starting to love their stuff this is the highlighter in Moon Talk which is this gorgeous green yellow shift on the skin and it really complements what we've got going on here so overall this look is just magical again could not help myself had to be said just look at that Ooh. Oh. that's so gorge so 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 stunning okay thank you very much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a like down below if you haven't already do subscribe to the house of freeman we upload every week so far and over the halloween period you'll be getting six to seven consecutive videos i do treat you well and comment wise i would like to know your opinion on the new wicked movie will you be going to see it are you happy with the casting? Let me know down below. That's it. We are done for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay tuned. It comes out quite a 
thick consistency. To me, it smells like a kind of cucumber shade. Shade? Not shade. Smell. That's terrifying. That's so cool. I look so cool. Oh, I think I just hit both of the lights. Fabulous. <coughs> Christ. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Goodness me. For the eyeshadow look, we are going to go into a brand new release by REM Beauty. This is the Wicked palette, and let's take a little look. Maybe not then. <clears throat> Lovely. And another liquid lipstick in... <clears throat> 